So this is kind of crazy. I made this video making fun of ChatGPT going back like six, seven uh, weeks at this point. Uh, I'll take a look here. Here it is. So it only has 16 views, right? And I, I would say like five of them are like people that are, you know, people that I know personally who said, you know, that's really funny, you know, ha ha ha. One person said, if this doesn't go viral, I don't know what will. And the thing only has 16 views. This is like my worst performing video ever. I mean, I've had poor performing videos that only got 16 views, you know, in a day. And then the next day, you know, get, maybe gets a few more or something like that. But this is like seven weeks right now. You know, it says one month right here. But it's seven weeks that it's only 16 views. And everybody's saying, you know, maybe the algorithm just, you know, stopped it dead in its tracks because it's a... Uh, a fellow bot, you know, the YouTube algorithm is is sticking up for Chat GPT, so it's a fellow bot looking out for one another. So, <laughs> so tribal unity also extends to bots now and AI, not just uh, human beings and and animal and the animal kingdom and so on. But anyway, so what I said in that video was a little bit crazy. It was, you know, I, I asked Chat GPT a question about. You know, basically, if a plane crashed on the border of the U.S. and Canada, where would you bury the survivors? Now, this was a, this was, you know, a common riddle when I was like a, a kid, right? And uh, ChatGPT went into extreme detail talking about how and where and who we have to contact so to, to decide the location of where we should bury the survivors, you know, people who survived, who didn't die. ChatGPT insisted on burying them. So if you want to take a look at that video, I'll put a link in the description below.